How's it going everyone? My name is Jose and in this video I'm going to be talking about how I passed the Red Hat Certified System Administration uh, certification exam on my first try. Um, and yeah, so let's just get right into it. Uh, let me do, uh, here we go, how I passed the Red Hat Certified System Administration exam in 2024. Um, so first things first, you're going to need the ISO for the from Red Hat to study. Uh, I didn't use any um, Rocky or Alma or any like of the alternative uh, Red Hat uh, distributions. I used the actual uh, ISO from Red Hat themselves. Um, and then yeah, always, uh, the next thing is always reference the objectives in uh, on the official Red Hat website. So I'll put a link here, um, but I'll show you as well. So here are the objectives right here. Um, as you can see, understanding use essential tools and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so always reference this in your study material because I used other or I looked at other different kind of uh, resources. Um, and they just included a lot of extra stuff like that you just don't need for the actual exam. Um, and that that was a that was a thing for me. Like I, I just wasn't trying to waste my time uh, learning unnecessary shortcuts uh, for the exam. Um, another thing. Uh, so I used O'Reilly.com uh, for the video courses from Sander Van Voet uh, and his lab. So he has a really good uh, video course on O'Reilly.com. I actually get access to O'Reilly.com through my current job. Um, and then so that was super valuable for me um, and yeah the the labs and the video courses uh, that Sander Van Vogt had on them were really good um, and I felt like they were really close to the exam as well uh, the books uh, which was really important as well too because it kind of put everything in uh, one bucket where you can reference and I felt like Sander Van Voet's book was very uh, close to what you needed to know for the exam. Like, for example, for like Vim, he did not waste any time uh, giving you unnecessary Vim shortcuts and keys and hotkeys. Uh, he gave you a list of that you needed and that was it. Um, and then moved on. Um, not a lot of fluff uh, with this one, I felt like. And he did go over some things that aren't included in the exam, but it's good practice because it helped understand uh, the scope of like a task. Um, oh, and then yeah, so, and then he has some unique ways of accomplishing the task. So uh, I have here like resetting root passwords. So in his book, he uses init bin bash. Um, while in this other second book that I have here, um, the Michael Jang book, uh, they actually use RD break. So, um, both worked. I tested both and both worked. So it's just a preference thing at that point. Um, and then, yeah, going on to the next book by Michael Jang. Uh, this book was really good, too, because they really had a good structure and order. While the Sanders book wasn't, I felt like, the best order. Yeah, so great labs, but missing some details on certain obje certain objectives. So, like, for example, like the containers just didn't have as many examples as Sander. Um, but they had great online material and their labs were really good. Uh, moving on. Uh, this third book here that I put here actually got after the fact. Um, I didn't really use it in my studies. I glanced at it towards the end when it was like I was already pretty much done studying. Um, and wish I did because I'm looking at it and it's a, it's a really good book. So I would recommend using this one as well, even though I didn't directly use it for, for my uh, studies. Um, and then the study routine. So I had about three months I gave myself uh, because in the beginning of May, I got uh, the Security Plus and uh, it goes May 2nd. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go for the Red Hat um, cert. I'm going to do it at the end of July. And I just gave myself a limit. Um, and then I use Vert Manager, um, which is super great. Uh, vert manager so here you have vert manager um you can just download it i'm on a rail system right now uh but uh it's a good uh, virtual machine manager i find it the easiest that one that i ever used outside of virtual box and everything um and it's just a super easy interface and this is this is what it looks like like i had a server one 
Um, and then you have snapshots that you can create. So these are the snapshots um, that I have, like a clean one. So I would do a lab and then um, I would reset it and then do the lab again um, after like reviewing something that I may have gotten wrong. And then here we go, like online added. So like this server here had like maybe a repository that I put on it, registered the, the machine to the Red Hat repository. Um, and then, yeah, so like subbed. And then here again, like online, maybe like some scripts from Sanders lab or something like that. Um, and so that's all, that was great. You know, it just console here and it was, it was great. Uh, let me to use that. Um, and then let's see. Uh, yeah, so I did, I read Sanders book from front to back. Um, every day I would just read a little bit of it, get through it. Um, do the labs same thing with Jang's book. So after Sanders I did Jang's um, And then I used vid the video course from Sander on already.com uh, Labs I did labs almost every single day uh, Practice tasks, especially multi-step tasks like LVM like I was doing LVM every single day almost and then excuse me and then containers regularly um, Especially towards the end. I would really do containers um Especially when it came to like stuff like you would miss like SCF, SC Linux and context and uh, it would it would get uh, just details that you just need to get the reps in and not worry so much about remembering it. Like just do the reps that way you get the muscle memory and get used to seeing the the errors that you would get. And then again, like my study session would be like one to two hours, sometimes maybe even thirty minutes, and then. Anytime I felt like like my brain was just working too much, I would just pause, not look at my phone or anything, and just like stand up, look at the wall, two minutes, come back. And if I did not have too much energy, I would minimum just do one task. So I would pull up a lab from Michael Jang's book or Sanders or a video, and I would just do a task, like whether it was creating like a zip, whether it was like piping something out, something like that uh, or even just do like a LVM or, or reset the root password it's, you know something that was related to uh, a lab or a task you know the objectives um, and then the actual exam so pick a date sooner than later I chose July 29th and stuck with it like I chose that date and then I didn't actually sign up for it until the beginning of July um, so I chose that date and then I signed up for it at the beginning of July and then uh, stuck to it and it forced me to study on those busier days especially when I started cranking it up like in the beginning of July after I signed up I was like all right I'm in it so let's do it um, and then the red Hat exam video oh yeah so this was really good so then in this video let me see if I can click on it here um, in this video red hat actually shows you uh, what the exam looks like Hello. Just uh, what it looks like inside. So uh, the like what it looks like when you're doing your tasks, um, and like a reference to how to navigate the exam. And you see here, like they show you how to connect to one VM, how not to connect to a VM, uh, things you should be reviewing and keeping in mind during the exam. So this video was actually really uh, beneficial because. It created like an image in my mind of like, oh, this is how the exam is gonna look, and this is how uh, it's not gonna be some some weird user interface or anything like that. Um, so reference this video because it's gonna prep you mentally to s when you get on the exam, actually start doing it. Like you're gonna be used to it. Like you're gonna say, oh, it's not okay. This is what it looks like, um, and then that's it. Um, so that's all it was. So just as a review, get the ISOs, reference the objectives always, because even in Sanders' book, he referenced something called stratus uh, volumes or creating stat stratus volumes, and that's not on the objectives. So I knew that I could just skip that, uh, and that's gonna help with study time. Um, and then, yeah, these books are great. I don't think you need anything more than that. And then Vert Manager was by far the best virtual management 
virtual machine manager that I that I've used. Um, I read and followed Sanders books and the Michael Jang book, videos, labs, take breaks, um, and pick a date, and and that was it. So, um, so in summary, uh, that was my experience with the uh, like studying for it, getting through it. Um, and if you have any questions or or something's not clear, uh, just ask um, in the comments. Um, and so, thank you so much.